Have you ever wondered what the mark of the beast truly signifies? An enigmatic symbol drenched in historical and religious importance, the mark of the beast ignites curiosity and provokes a myriad of interpretations. It's a topic that has puzzled scholars, stirred debates and intrigued minds for centuries. It's more than just a mark. It's a profound concept that holds a mirror to humanity's deepest fears and most profound questions. Stay tuned as we delve into the mystery of the Mark of the Beast. The Mark of the Beast originates from a cryptic passage in the Bible. A small phrase, yet it has triggered countless debates and theories over the centuries. Diving into the biblical context, the Mark of the Beast makes its appearance in the book of Revelation, specifically in chapter 13. It is here in the apocalyptic vision of John that we first hear of a beast rising from the sea, a second beast rising from the earth, and a mysterious mark associated with them. In the text, the mark is described as a symbol of allegiance, a sign that the bearer worships the beast. It is said to be placed on the right hand or forehead, and without it, no one can buy or sell. The number associated with this mark, 666, has become one of the most recognized symbols in religious and pop culture. Interpreting this symbol in religious contexts, traditional interpretations lean towards viewing the mark of the beast as a sign of apostasy or turning away from the faith. The mark is seen as a symbol of the ultimate rejection of God, a clear line drawn between those who follow the beast and those who follow the path of righteousness. However, the interpretation of this mark is far from uniform. Some see it as a literal mark, a physical sign to be worn by the unfaithful. Others view it as a metaphorical symbol representing a spiritual or moral choice rather than a physical brand. Yet despite the differing interpretations, the mark of the beast remains a powerful symbol. Its presence in the book of Revelation, a book filled with prophetic visions and warnings, gives it a weighty significance. It's a symbol that's been used to represent evil, corruption, and the ultimate consequence of turning away from the divine. Thus, the mark of the beast has always been a subject of intense debate and speculation. Its origins in biblical text and its enduring presence in our culture continue to spark questions about its true meaning and the lessons it holds for humanity. The mark of the beast is not just a mark, but a symbol loaded with meanings. This statement rings true when delving into the deep symbolism associated with this enigmatic concept. You see, symbols are the language of the subconscious, a universal form of communication that transcends the barriers of spoken language. And the mark of the beast is no exception, filled with cryptic symbolism that has been the subject of interpretation and debate for centuries. One of the most prominent symbols connected to the mark of the beast is the number 666. This number is mentioned in the biblical book of Revelation as the number of the beast a symbol of imperfection and incompletion, falling one short of the divine number seven. But what does this number represent? Well, it's not as straightforward as you might think. In ancient numerology, numbers were often associated with specific qualities or characteristics. The number six being one less than seven, a number often associated with divinity and perfection, represents something incomplete or flawed. When amplified threefold to 666, it becomes a powerful symbol of profound imperfection and a departure from the divine. This interpretation of the number 666 as a symbol of imperfection and disconnection from the divine makes the mark of the beast a symbol of rebellion against divine authority. It's a mark that signifies a choice to deviate from the path of righteousness and embrace a path of spiritual imperfection. The symbolism of the mark of the beast is indeed layered and complex, designed to provoke thought and introspection. It's a symbol that serves as a warning, a reminder of the consequences of turning away from divine guidance and choosing a path of spiritual imperfection. And so, we see how the mark of the beast is not just a simple mark, but rather a symbol imbued with meaning and significance. These symbols amplify the enigma that surrounds the mark of the beast, an enigma that continues to captivate and intrigue us, even today. In the modern era, interpretations of the mark of the beast have become even more diverse. The phrase has found a home in popular culture, infusing itself into literature, films and music. 
It's been reimagined and repurposed, used as a metaphor to explore themes of control, identity, and the human condition. In the dystopian novel 1984, George Orwell uses it to symbolize totalitarian control. In the world of cinema, the omen presents the mark as a birthmark, a physical manifestation of evil. And in music, Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast uses it to explore themes of fear and manipulation. Meanwhile, conspiracy theories have taken the mark of the beast and run with it, weaving intricate narratives about secret societies, global control, and the end of days. Some associate the mark with barcodes, believing that these ubiquitous symbols are a sign of an impending new world order. Others link it to technology, suggesting that microchip implants or even our reliance on digital devices are modern manifestations of the mark. Religious interpretations, too, continue to evolve. While traditional views often link the mark to a literal mark or branding, others have interpreted it symbolically. Some Christian scholars suggest the mark could represent a state of mind or a way of life that is in opposition to God. Others suggest it could be a socio-political system that opposes Christian values. In the world of academia, scholars have proposed theories linking the mark of the beast to historical events and figures. Some suggest the mark is a coded reference to Roman Emperor Nero, known for his persecution of Christians. Others see it as a symbol of the Roman Empire itself, a system that demanded loyalty and worship from its citizens. And let's not forget the world of pseudoscience, where theories abound about the mark's relation to planetary alignments, numerology, and even alien invasions. While these theories may lack scientific backing, they demonstrate the enduring fascination with the mark of the beast. No matter the interpretation, the mark of the beast often serves as a symbol of opposition, a sign of rebellion against the divine, a warning against the dangers of unchecked power and control. It's a concept that resonates with our deepest fears and anxieties about the world and our place in it. It's clear that the mark of the beast continues to captivate minds and imaginations today. The mark of the beast is not just a symbol of curiosity, but also a warning and a lesson. It is a cautionary tale that resonates across time and cultures, urging us to remain vigilant against the insidious lure of malevolent forces. From the outset, the mark of the beast has been a warning against complacency and conformity. It is a stark reminder of the potential consequences of blindly following the crowd, of surrendering our individuality and moral compass to the whims of a collective or an authority figure. It cautions us against the dangers of losing sight of our own principles and values in the face of societal pressure or fear. The mark of the beast also serves as a lesson about the power of choice and personal responsibility. It is a testament to the fact that our decisions, however small or seemingly insignificant, can have far-reaching consequences. It reminds us that we have the capacity to choose our path, to resist temptation, to stand up against evil, it is a call to action, urging us to exercise our free will and moral judgment, to uphold the values of compassion, integrity and justice, even when it is difficult or unpopular to do so. Furthermore, the mark of the beast is a warning about the dangers of deception and manipulation. It reminds us of the insidious power of false prophets and deceitful leaders of the potential harm caused by misinformation and propaganda. It encourages us to question, to probe, to seek truth and knowledge, and to discern between right and wrong. In essence, the mark of the beast is a timeless symbol of human struggle against evil, a beacon lighting the way in our quest for moral and spiritual growth. It is a narrative of redemption and resilience, of the human capacity to withstand adversity and emerge victorious. So let's not view the mark of the beast merely as a symbol of doom and gloom, Let's perceive it as a guide, a compass pointing us towards the path of righteousness and virtue. Understanding the mark of the beast can provide us with valuable insights to navigate our own lives. In conclusion, the mark of the beast is a complex and multifaceted symbol. Its origins lie deep in the annals of religious history, a chilling motif within the book of Revelation. This mark, bearing the infamous number 666, is laden with symbolism. It serves as a grim reminder of the perils of succumbing to earthly temptations and the ultimate spiritual consequences of such actions. In the modern world, interpretations of the mark are manifold, ranging from literal to metaphorical. Some view it as a tangible sign, others as a societal metaphor for moral decline. 
Regardless of interpretation, the mark of the beast continues to stir intrigue and speculation, serving as a potent warning of the dangers of unchecked power and moral corruption. The mark of the beast remains a fascinating symbol, inviting us all to delve deeper into its mysteries. It beckons us to question, to explore, and ultimately to understand the profound lessons it encapsulates.